Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 4th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of European markets, again, another Asian session that's weak again. Uh, again, trade war concerns certainly remain as we approach the 6th of July, very important date in terms of the Chinese imposing that uh, potential tariff on US goods and it certainly seems like it's going to go ahead. China to implement tariffs on $34 billion worth of US goods from midnight Beijing time July the 6th, okay? Especially given uh, the uh, obviously ban on Micron last night as well uh, with regards to ch selling uh, technical, uh, uh, basically uh, technology to the US, uh, sorry, to, to China, sorry, yeah, an American firm uh, unable to sell and therefore obviously uh, tech stocks certainly took a battering yesterday. Uh, Samsung profits certainly on the downside as well. U.S. car tariffs obviously uh, uh, in the background as well. Uh, China attacks in the background. Chinese tech down. China and Japan down. So certainly a very factor overnight. But having said that, the yuan certainly being supported. Okay, so that's basically where we are now. Chinese equities, if you look at them tech and technically speaking as well, they've take, taken a hell of a battering, especially emerging markets as well. And they are now coming in to support both of them especially the uh, the actual uh, Japanese it's stock market too. So if you look at the Nikkei on a daily basis, you can see there a potential bottoming tail certainly being registered as well. Okay, so watch out there in terms of Tuesday session overnight. Okay, so uh, today's session obviously took another battering, but certainly holding that potential pivot low. Now, I think the pivot low uh, on Japanese uh, tech, I think overnight was around that, uh, it was finished, finished around... Let's have a look, 22,700 in Japanese tech. So certainly bouncing off that poten potential pivot low. So again, pretty, pretty impressive, okay, to say the least. So that's basically where we uh, stand then in terms of uh, the markets, Asian markets down. European markets certainly are bouncing back, though, given the immigration, obviously, um, news certainly being positive. Uh, immigration news positive, uh, given the fact that the deal is potentially being reached or political uncertainty removed. And the European PMI data certainly coming out stronger this morning as well, and that's certainly helping sentiment in Europe. Okay, so looking at the technical picture here, German DAX after it made that double bottom at 12.130, we're making a higher, higher low now. Okay, looking to potentially retest that resistance at 12.430. If we continue, then we break higher to 12.580 gap fill. Okay, so watch out there. 10 minute chart certainly closing the gap, so very impressive thrust there so far. Let's see if that can continue. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's see exactly what's going on here. Again, bounce with that pivot low. Certainly not following Asian markets overnight. And not, uh, no, no, neither is it following US equities. And certainly starting to uh, potentially bounce back here. In terms of the FTSE 100 as well, uh, still relatively weak. Now, again, we are, do have concerns with regards to OPEC supply increasing. So again, certainly take that into consideration. Okay, so FTSE certainly faltering here as well on the 10-minute chart. As you can see, even though we had a stronger UK PMI data as well, I mean, EU PMI data, FTSE is certainly faltering. Uh, again, oil prices certainly remain a concern. Oil prices did take a dive yesterday. Uh, if I just bring up a chart of oil here for you and give you an insight here. Brent crude, okay, certainly taking a dive. Certainly isn't a uh, bullish sign, as you can see here. Look at that uh, major sell candle here. And we would drop from 78 down to uh, 76. So it's a $2 drop in oil. That certainly spooked the market and that obviously caused a FTSE 100 falter as well. Concerns over Glencore, so bear that in mind as well. Glencore, uh, again, potential subpoena there, so again, hurting the commodity sector. Potential mini HNS formation forming as well in the 60-minute chart, and obviously with regards to talk of uh, increased supply. And again, that will cause uh, the oil prices to fall, which in turn causes the FTSE to fall as well. So bear that in mind, folks, okay? 60-minute uh, chart on the FTSE, really, it's in no man's land. It's oscillating between 7,700 and obviously, as you can see, here, 7,500. So we're in that zone, whether or not we can hold that. Uh, we retest the lows, etc. It's all up in the air. Well, that certainly is the status quo. Okay, then. So um, from my perspective, really, um, European markets certainly bouncing back, although you do have that unfilled gap below 12 to 40. Really, it's over to the US session as well. As you're aware, obviously, it's a holiday in America as well. So bear that in mind. Uh, a lot of light volume, and that certainly does favour the upside. Either way, that's the status quo. Uh, again, I'm done trading for the morning now. I think I've, I've just closed my uh, uh, Euro stocks for plus 15, 108 points for the week. So uh, a decent week so far. Uh, again, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the good weather. Take it easy, chaps. Goodbye now.